Hello and welcome back to my channel, Craft Time by Casey. I am Casey and today I have a whole bunch of finished jewelry patterns from Potomac Beads that I will be going through with you and I have a pair of earrings that I have made, wire wrapped earrings from the treasure box from May 2023. So if you would like to see all the patterns that I have completed and the earrings, then stay tuned. All right, so I'm going to start with the pair of wire wrapped earrings that I made. And here is the completed earring. I absolutely love these wooden pieces that came. And I'm, again, I said it when I did the opening, I wish there was a way I could convey the smell of these. It smells like a campfire. I absolutely love the smell. But I also love these rainbow-esque flowers. So I decided to do a wire wrap and just make a pair of dangled earrings like this. So here we go. I am using 20 gauge wire right here. Before I cut the actual pieces that I'll be using, I do wanna show that I am using a specific set of wire cutters as opposed to my regular jewelry cutters because if you cut wire with your regular cutters, it will damage them and the cut won't, it will stop working properly. So you definitely wanna have a set of kind of industrial type cutters so that these don't get messed up. So I am just going to very quickly cut a little half circle here, just like that. And I'm gonna need two, just like this. And two other tools that I will be using to make these wire wrap loops. I will have a set of round nose pliers and I will also use a set of chain nose pliers. All right, so I'm going to take this flower bead that has that hole right there in the center, and I'm going to put the wire through it just like this, and then I'm going to bend it up. Right like that. Just kind of bend it to the shape of that bead, and I'm gonna use my chain nose pliers to grab a hold of it and twist it just like that. And now I'm going to use the very tip of my round nose pliers and bend them both, both strands at almost a 90 degree angle. And then I want the loop to be decently big. I'm gonna go in there high up on my round nose pliers and fold it all the way back just like that. And then I'm gonna change it to the lower one of the round nose pliers and then wrap it to where it's all the way back like that. And now I'm gonna use my fingers and just wrap it around. I'm gonna use my chain nose pliers and straighten that loop so it's facing the way I want it to be, just like that. And I'm gonna go in there with my wire cutters and get as close as I can and cut off the edges just like that. And now I'm going to use my chain nose pliers to get in there and flatten that edge so that it doesn't have any sharp edges to it. The little nubs that are sticking out just like that. And now we're going to do the exact same thing with the other wire going the opposite direction. So you're just making that exact same loop going the other way, just like you see here. And there you go. So now it's simply a matter of connecting it to the pieces. I have a six millimeter jump ring. I'm gonna connect it to the wood piece. And I wanna make sure that bright shiny side is the side that's facing the front. And I connect that and close that loop and then open the ear wire, make sure it's facing the right direction, connect it, and then close it back. And here is the wire wrapped pair of earrings with those beautiful butterfly wood pieces. All right, so here is the first pattern we will go through, the Sunray Fringe Pendant Necklace. And this was from April. 
So I'm showing April and May's boxes. And this was probably the easiest pattern to make. It was very simple to make these components here at the bottom, the fringe part of this, and very simple stacking uh, necklace chain to go with it. And here you see the closure there with the lobster clasp. And I feel like as far as the picture is concerned, mine looks pretty close to it, if not exactly like it. So this one here was very, very simple to make. Some simple loops, not a lot of difficulty in this one. And of course, the directions in the pattern, super simple to follow. Pictures, very, very easy to follow. And I um, did not need the video version for this one. The pictures definitely summed it up pretty easily. So the next one that I completed was this Endless Beauty Earrings. And this was probably one of the most complicated to get started. This pattern of the right angle weave that wraps around was very, very confusing as far as the pictures that were in here. But once I watched for this one, I definitely needed the video version of this pattern. Once I watched this, it made the pictures make a lot more sense. And I was able to finish it fairly simply once I got it started. And then of course made the second one. It was very simple once I had the pattern down. And absolutely love these earrings. And I will say, I do believe mine look pretty similar, <laughs> if not exactly like the picture. All right, so the next two go together. And, and that's, of course, if you chose to make them go together. I mean, you could have made it separately if, you, if that's how you wanted it, but it was the beaded bead here along the bracelet, as you can see up here. And again, I do feel like my beads do look pretty similar to the picture. The pattern was very easy to follow. And then, of course, the beaded toggle down here. Again, the pattern very easy to follow. However, I'm not sure about the, <laughs> the longevity of this toggle clasp. It definitely looks very nice and I feel like you could probably wear it a couple times before this started to wear a little bit, but it is very pretty. And I, I definitely did not need the video version for either one of these patterns. Patterns were very, very easy to follow. And the next one, the Mountain's Calling necklace. I will have to say I absolutely needed the video version of this one to help me out. The instructions were, so, you know, they were pretty clear. And again, once I watched the video version, it helped me to understand the instructions just that much more. And that's why I love that they have the additional help if you're not completely sure with the pattern. So here is mine and I do think it looks pretty similar to what the picture looks like. There it is on the back and then of course I made the bail the same way and I made the strand the same way as the as the um, pattern called for it. And there is the clasp. So there you go. And here is the last one, the Destination Leather Wrap Bracelet. And I will say, this one took the longest. I'm going to take the button off of it. So here is the bracelet itself. And the pattern calls for it to wrap around twice. The instructions are very, very clear on how to do it. I did watch the video version of this one, and it did help, but... I feel like the instructions on this one were pretty clear. The thing about this pattern was each one of these 11 O seed beads had to be put on one at a time down both strands. So this was a very, very time consuming piece. And for me, I mean, for me, that's not a super big deal. You know, I can kind of do this while I have, you know, a TV show going on or something like that but it was very, very time consuming, especially since you're making it where it can wrap around twice, not even like the individual length of a bracelet. So turned out very, very nice. I definitely think it looks like the pattern that's on here. And this one was pretty simple to follow. 
up to and including the clasp and the knotted fringe that's on here. All right, so here are the six patterns, three from April 2023 and three from May 2023 from the Potomac Kit Editions. If you watched my opening video for April, there was a little bit of a snafu in the shipment, which is why my videos for April were a little bit behind. So I wanted to make sure I got these patterns in there and I'm happy I finished all of them so that you could see them. Also, I want to make sure that I include the wire wrapped earrings that I made from the Treasure Edition for May 2023. And I highly recommend these bead boxes. If you are interested in bead weaving or you're, you know, you're wanting to check it out, these patterns are a great way to get started. Or even if you're not so new at it, some of these patterns are just really good ideas that you could maybe tweak to make your own. So I highly recommend these bead boxes and I will have all the information in the description box below if you are interested. Again, I just encourage you to check it out. You can also check out their website. They have just about everything you could need for the jewelry making hobby. And I definitely think it is worth your time to check it out. So if you like this video and you wanna see other videos like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and give me a like, leave a comment. I absolutely love reading my comments. You guys are so, so kind. And I definitely look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.